Okay, everyone, welcome back to the channel. So I have another DIY. Sorry about the non upload of DIY number three yesterday. Too much going on. Life really was happening, so I had to just take a little break. So anyway, back at it again. These are some things from um, a collection of places that I have picked up to create a beautiful little swag. And I've already depressed it out, so that's why it looks all dim it like that. But um, to come make a little swag for my um, in front of my TV on my console. So this was three ninety nine. If you can see, the price was three ninety nine. I got it from my local um, Ross, not Ross, but Roses store. So that was a great deal. I've already spread it out. It comes already flocked. Yes. And then I've already put together from my previous DIY three of these mirrored squares that you can get from Dollar Tree. Okay, so I'm gonna flip that over. I already have glue to put them together. It's three of them. And I just put glue down in the seams of them. As you can see here, let me tilt my camera down just a little bit more. Okay. And then I'm gonna take some of these popsicle sticks that you can also pick up from the Dollar Tree. And we're just gonna reinforce it just a little bit more here on the back seam, okay? Just wanna make sure that we have great reinforcement so we're going to use um these popsicle sticks and some hot glue to do that okay and this is pretty much all i'm going to do yes it's going to look a mess on the back but you won't be seeing the back okay now if you want to make this very nice and neat you will um put your popsicle sticks down and then take a sheet of um felt not um what is it called felt material and cut it out to the back and then once you put your popsicle sticks there i will cover the back with a um the material the felt material and then you will have a nice back and it won't look so you know all over the place so I would do that definitely if I'm giving it as a gift or if I'm trying to resell it or anything like that but because that is not what I am trying to do today they are pulling off some old glue uh, if that is not what I'm trying to do today we're not going to worry about that because this is a piece of decor for my own self okay so I'm not too concerned with that. So I don't want to pull off the center pieces of the glue. I want that to stay there. Okay, so now, I hope my glue gun is heated up enough. I'm just gonna add some glue. Just say plenty of glue. It's not all that heated as I like it to be, but it's just coming along, we we'll go okay. I'm gonna add some hot glue there right across the seam here and then we're going to do the same thing on this side right across in that area so more hot glue that right there on that piece just like that okay so we're gonna see how stable that is I don't know stable enough actually it's fine with just like that so we could just leave it at that i was going to use these two little pieces here to make it more stable like right down the centers but really i don't need it but you know what it's not going to hurt to put it on there so let's go ahead and put it on there anyway so we're going to put some of those right on here Okay, and we're gonna let that glue dry. Let that dry. Now, we are going to move this stuff to the side. And we are going to take out our lovely candle holders from um, Dollar Tree, okay? This is from the Dollar Tree. You can use some E6000 permanent glue, you guys, for this DIY. I don't want mine permanent because <clears throat> I do have some other plans for this particular, these particular um, candle holders. So I don't want them permanent, but they will stick for me to have my Christmas decor without any problems of coming off. So that's not a concern of mine. I'm not worried with that at all. So first, you want to figure out where you want to have placement on your... Um, where exactly you want placement to be 
And I think I kind of want it like this. So once you figure out placing it, then we can glue it down, okay? We're gonna put lots of glue on the bottom of this. Don't forget to add your permanent glue. And press it down and carry on. Now, if I was going to be selling this or gifting this, like I said before, this would definitely have some permanent glue on it because I would not want it to run the risk of falling apart on whoever I am gifting it to or selling it to. So you see me not using it, but it's fine, like I said, because this is for me and I'm okay with it. Okay, so I know y'all probably thinking that's going to fall apart. Well, really, it's not going to fall apart. It really won't. Not with just this hot glue, it would not. It would take a lot of maneuvering and manipulation in order to get it to just fall apart but if you're just sitting it somewhere on a table not touching it bothering it and burning your candle in it it is not going to move on you okay so don't be afraid of that for sure okay so then we're going to glue that last one down as well okay so we got them all glued down they are down they are beautiful okay so we have that down now i was thinking about maybe embellishing it just a little bit with some of these here and they're the sticky things so you can take them off you do not have to leave these on here so it's up to you if you want to leave them on here or take them off okay clearly up to you on what you want to do so i'm just going to add some uh of these right around the perimeter or the top portion of this candle holder. And I wish that it would show a little bit better. But can you see how beautiful that is right now? Okay. And we're going to continue on. Okay, y'all, look how beautiful this is. Look at how beautiful. See how beautiful that is? It is gorgeous. So it is good just like this, but we're gonna place it down in here. And I've already folded up my things how I wanted them. And I'm not gonna glue it down or anything. It's just gonna sit just like this, just like this, okay? And the reason why I'm not gonna glue it down because like I say, this is going to be um something that i could use after christmas this portion here so i don't want to i don't want to do anything to it i don't want to do anything permanent to it okay so we're just going to play with that a little bit now we are going to add some of these balls which is in my decor so we're going to add those i'm going to stick them in there but we're going to add just a little bit of hot glue on them right around the tips and I'm just going to stick them in there. Oops, so. I'm going to do some same thing up here on this side. Just a little hot glue. Okay. And then I'm going, also going to take some of these here because I wanted to add some more of the little bling and these are the little ornaments from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to add them in as well throughout certain portions of here. I'm just going to place them where I would like for them to be. So 
and just glue them down like that, okay? And I would just cut off of these little, that portion right there. And just glue it down like that. that we have that all like this okay now we're going to take these from the Dollar Tree those berries and we are going to just pop them off and fill them in and place this I was thinking maybe we can add some of these to kind of loop it along the way, along the sides. And it's just like, just a little drape, draping, nothing fancy at all. Just draping it on the sides. Just like so. And that's it for DIY number one. So we have all of these mirrors here that we are going to make a big giant wall mirror with that and these poster boards okay so what we're going to do is put these together just like this and we're going to start from um, this top portion here to the side frame if you can. Okay. And then put them all down. Just like so. Okay, so now that I see here, now that I see here is where this cut off, I am going to take my I want to cut here. All the way down here is where I'm going to want to cut my poster board. Okay, I'm going to make a score. And I'm going to fold that board like that and break it. I want to fold it like this and break it, okay? And so I cut it back. Now, I can put my pictures up here. And hopefully we put it on there now. And evenly enough, and take and begin to glue them down. Okay? So, I'm going to take glue I'm going 
Ici. Now I'm taking popsicle sticks and I am going to secure this base here. Okay, so I'm going to take glue, same as we did last time. You can either close the gaps up with bling, or you can do the round perimeter with bling. You can do all that if you choose to. I am no, I am actually not going to do anything to this mirror. I love it just like this. So I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to clean it off, and I'm going to hang it up and share with you where I put it. I'm just sharing with you guys how I place these little backings from the actual mirrors onto the back of the poster board to hang it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is it for day four of our um, series. This is the wall asset mirror, which is beautiful, easy to recreate, very affordable. And I love the way that it looks on my wall with my wreath that I DIY adorning it. Um, so you guys let me know what you think in the description box below. Please comment, like, share. And if you have not yet already, please subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace, love, and blessings as always. Bye-bye.